Okay, good afternoon, America. We have one more reading for today. It's coming from Psalms 54. It is a psalm of King David. The psalmist's description of the corrupt. I'm going to give you a description of what the corrupt think like. Okay. This psalm is, a, is, is very short. It only has six verses, and it has three colors, black for sin, purple for the Trinity, and Allah for commandments. It is by our beloved uh, King David, and I will be reading it both from the rainbow and the uh, parallel. Verse 1, the fool has said in his heart, there is no God. Sounds like Oprah Winfrey, who was on People's Magazine, and she said to, in her heart, actually she said it out loud, I am so proud of myself and all that I have done. She believes not in God. She trusts in her millions. Okay, so she's what you call a rich fool. <clears throat> the fool has said in his heart, there is no God. Corrupt are they and have done abominable inequity. There is none that does this good. Now, we're not talking about the good. We're talking about the wicked. There are no wicked that do good. Okay? It says, the fool says in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. Their ways are vile. There is no one who does good. Verse 2 is that one purple verse for God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. That's why it's purple for the Trinity. And it says, God looketh down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand, that did seek God. Okay. God looketh down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand, that did seek God. Verse 2. God looks down from heaven on the sons of men to see if there are any who understand, any who seek God. 3, 4, 5. I will read it straight away because it's all black. Everyone of them is gone back. They are all together become filthy. There is none that does good. No, not one. Four. Have the workers of inequity no knowledge who eat up my people as they eat bread. They have not called upon God. Five. There were they in great fear where no fear was, for God has scattered the bones of him that encampeth them against them. Thou hast put them to shame, because God has despised them. There were they in great fear, where no fear was, for God has scattered the bones of them that encampeth against him. thee. Thou hast put them to shame, because God has despised them. Okay, let's take it from three to five. Everyone has turned aside. They have altogether become corrupt. There is no one who does good, not even one. We're talking about the wicked now. The wicked don't do good. They do evil. The good do, does good. The wicked does not do good. Okay, the wicked are monstrosities. They will come into your house pretending to want one thing, and what they want is that baby in your womb. And the wicked will cut it out of your womb. Okay? This has happened recently here in North Carolina. A woman came in because she wanted puppies. But she walked out with a baby. Premature baby that she had cut out of my sister's womb. The wicked do no good. All right? A 41-year-old man beheaded his mother using a butter knife and his teeth. Everyone 
everyone has turned away. They have uh, together become corrupt. There is no one who does good, not even one poor. Well, the evil steward never learned those who devour my people as men eat bread and who do not call on God. Five, there they are, overwhelmed with dread, where there was nothing to dread. God scattered the bones of those who attacked you. You put them to shame, for God despised them. Last verse is, I love for commandment. Oh, that the salvation of Israel will come out of Zion! Exclamation mark. Hopefully I shall see one here. Oh, that the salvation of Israel will come out of Zion. When God brings back the captivity of his people, Jacob shall rejoice and Israel shall be glad. Six. Oh, that salvation for Israel will come out of Zion! Exclamation mark. Perfect. When God restores the fortune of his people, let Israel rejoice let Jacob rejoice and Israel be glad. Exclamation mark. No, there was only supposed to be one here. Oh, that the salvation of Israel will come out of Zion. Where, when God brings back the captivity of his people, Jacob shall rejoice and Israel shall be glad. Thank you very much for listening for, to that beautiful sixth verse song written by our beloved David. Thank you for listening. As always, may the peace of God be upon you. May the protection of God preserve thee. And may the will of God come from thee. Until the next time, thank you very much for listening. Have a beautiful day.